Something we know about the year 2022 is it was the best year for the movies so far. It's hard to believe the year is heavy over, and now it's comforting to see cinema thriving. So many movies has been released up to now, and now it's only the best time to let you know about the best movies of 2022. Don't go anywhere. Watch until the end of this video. Let's go. Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel Legend Club. Today, we're going to let you know about the best movies of 2022. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button. Let's start with the first movie. Lost City. The Lost City was all over the place. Nowadays you can say Sandra Bullock and Channing Tatum being so charming on TVs. Sandra Bullock and Channing Tatum are as delightful together as you'd expect in Aaron and Adam Nee's adventure comedy romance about a reclusive romance novelist who was kidnapped by an outlandish billionaire. And yes, you can see whatever you want here. Also, there is the American sweetheart Brad Pitt in this movie. Tatum plays the handsome cover model who sets out to rescue this lady who is Sandra Bullock. The rest of the movie is full of fashion, love, passion, and everything you're waiting for. So don't hesitate to watch this movie. Let's go to our second one. Happening. What was started as a festival darling is now a must see movie of the moment Audrey Diwan's searing French drama thriller follows a promising student in 1963 and the aftermath of an unexpected pregnancy this is not what you believe it will happen happening is for sure and utterly brutal and chilling without being graphic don't forget to watch this movie And what sees in the third place gonna amaze you all, and not for sure maybe the Batman. Of course, the rumors were everywhere. A year of positive and negative hype, postponements and rumors, right? But the Batman movie was actually good. It was pretty great actually. It's prowling three hours that fills its length, but it's never less than fully absorbing. This Batman 2022 is more Blade Runner than Batman Begins, but this is damn good. Consistently surprising filmmaking and it all works. This is a movie of challenge and of course your favorite actors and actresses plays in it. So don't miss the Batman. Number 4, Fire Island. In this movie modern rom-com, Pride and Prejudice is transplanted to the Fire Island Pines. This is where a group of gay men descend on the island in search of a legendary summer adventure. And believe us, the adventure is so fun. This is a funny, heartfelt and often vulnerable movie. The first island can prove that there are still new shades to discover in Austin. So don't forget to watch this amazing movie, The Fire Island. And the last but not least, here we go to our fifth one, The Deep Water. Ben Affleck can ever go wrong, guys, especially when he plays with the girlfriend at the time. Ana de Armas. No doubt you heard about this Ben Affleck Ana de Armas erotic thriller when it first released on Hulu in April. And let me guess. You've either heard that this is a garbage movie or you've heard this is much more than you expected. This is all on your hands. You should watch and say, but I personally not believe in the idea of guilty pleasure for this movie. If something brings you joy, then why should you feel any remorse? I mean, this is not in my own words. With that being said, I can see why people would call Deep Water one of the guilty pleasure kind of movie. 
It may have crossed the line on some other things, but I believe this one is the one movie you should really watch. It tap dances on the fine line between cheese and fromage. I'm not ashamed to say that I enjoyed the hell out of this movie. Based on a kinky Patricia Highsmith story, directed by Adrian Lin's return to his 80s erotic thriller Pinnacle. Stars Affleck as a filthy rich dude who made his fortune dealing death as a designer of military drones who now spends his early retirement riding his mountain bike, tending to his collection of snails and fuming with jealousy while his wife, Diarmis, flirts and has affairs with a string of young men in plain slide. So this is what I've been saying, right? This is maybe a pleasure guilt or not. So guys, what do you think about the movies being said? Have you watched any of these movies? Do you think these are the best movies of 2022? Let us know. And we will be waiting for you until the next video, guys, from Legend Club.